Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $86,310.50. On Friday I was down $696.17 and then after hours I am up $125.21. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire on 419. My total return $108. I'm selling Disney $120 covered calls. These expire on 419. My total return $15. I'm selling Google $145 covered call. This expires 419. My total return, I am down. $626. I'm selling LUV $30 covered calls. These expire 419. My total return $45. I'm selling PayPal $60 covered calls. These expire 419. My total return, I am down $180. I'm selling SoFi $9 covered calls. These expire 419. My total return $1080. I'm selling Verizon $42 covered calls. These expire 419. My total return $112. For my stocks I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $179.11. My average cost, $98.95. Total return, $24,051.64. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.31. My average cost, $5.62. Total return, $10,120.80 I have 300 shares of Disney Disney is at $116 My average cost $60 Total return $16,800 I have 100 shares of Google Google is at $150.65 my average cost $142.48, total return $817. I have 500 shares of LUV, LUV is at $28.45, my average cost $28.03, total return $210. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $64.79. My average cost, $57.70. Total return, $1,418. And lastly, I have 200 shares of Verizon. Verizon is at $40.40. My average cost, $39.31. Total return, $218.10. For my buying power, I have $3,973.13. I said in my last video I was planning to get rid of my Google $145 covered call and replace it with something with a higher strike price like $160. However, I still have my $145. Google unfortunately is at $150 and I kind of want to hold on to it. Now I'm still figuring out what to do about the whole Google situation because I do want to hold on to it and I didn't expect it to shoot up that much. So now I have to decide if I want to take a small hit in order to keep my shares. Which is debatable. Perhaps I do want to do that. Other than that, there's nothing else to report. My portfolio did not move that much. Less than 1% on Friday. So other than Google, right now I'm just holding on to my positions and just waiting for time to pass. All of my options expire in 419. 
So that's the big day. When all these expire, then I have to figure out what I'm going to do at that point. But until then, I'm just sitting and waiting. That's it for this portfolio update. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.